Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil, or should I say, welcome back to Raccoon City. Not that we've really been gone from Raccoon City for too long. Now, I have been so excited to play this game, however, this game has been one massive clusterfuck this morning. This game dropped today, and I was hoping to have it all ready and fired up and all that good shit, and we're going to upload like maybe one maybe even two videos of this today who knows we'll see how it goes but i have had the worst time of this game so far as some of you may know we are playing it on the playstation 4 why but titan i thought you had the ultimate edition gifted to you by your missus on steam for the pc yeah yeah i do but it won't work um my pc exceeds the recommended spec for that game but I can't play it it is absolutely ridiculous it's jumping between uh, regardless of the setting whether you're on maxed out or whether you're on minimum whether you're on 1080p or whether you're on 720p the performance is exactly the same. And yes, it's updated. Yes, I have the new NVIDIA graphics drivers. Um, and yes, it's installed to a very fast SSD. But the performance is 60. Sometimes it drops down to 40. Sometimes it drops down to 18 frames a second. I don't know why. I've watched people on YouTube with less capable systems than mine that are getting 60 FPS. But it doesn't matter what I set the settings to, and that gets even worse when I go to record it. So I thought, fuck, I have to play this game. Um, what do I do? So I thought, okay, I'm going to have to buy it for the, for the Xbox One X. Because obviously the Xbox One X is the better console. I'd rather have it on the PlayStation because Resident Evil. But the Xbox One X is the better console. So I went everywhere today looking for it on the Xbox One X. Whether the standard version, the deluxe version, whatever. I don't care. I just had to have the game. <sighs> Nobody had it. So my last ditch effort was to go to Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's is a like a Walmart or something, I guess. Like an upmarket one, kind of. Well, they like to think they are. And um, they had it in stock. So I thought, fucking brilliant. And it was 40 quid. So I was like, okay, not only do they have it in, but they've got it like quite a chunk cheaper than everyone else. So I thought, okay, right. Grabbed it. Paid for it. Took it to the... Um, uh, technology desk they didn't have it in stock even though I had the case and I paid for it so I said uh, she's like the only thing I can do I'm really sorry I could give you a refund and I thought that doesn't fucking help me but okay and I said do you have it they didn't have any on the shelf but I said do you have it on the PlayStation 4 and she goes oh I'll check. I think someone didn't collect one today. So I was like, ooh, ooh. And I thought, don't get don't get your hopes up. Because you're generally not that lucky. If something's going to go wrong, it will. But she came back with it anyway. She goes, oh, I've got the standard edition here for the PlayStation 4. Someone was supposed to collect it this morning. They haven't been in for it. So I said, I'll take it. So here we are. There we go. And there is my receipt for the exchange from the Xbox One X version to the PlayStation 4 version. So that leads us to here. To now. To 10 to 2, 10 to 2 in the afternoon. I wanted to jump on this at like 8 o'clock this morning. So PC version was shit. Took all day to track this game down. But here we are. Now I've played through the first half an hour of this game. Ten times today, mostly on the PC trying to get it to work, and then once on this. And <sighs> aiming with analog sticks, man. Oh. Why in 2019 can't I plug my mouse and keyboard into my console? Yes, technically two games are compatible with it on the Xbox, but 
Whatever. But here we are, guys. It's not ideal. It's not ideal by a long shot. But Resident Evil 2. And we don't even have all of the cool stuff. Like, on the PC, I've got all the costumes. Um, I've got all the enhanced limited weapons. and so oh, Not that we'd have used those, but, you know. Anyway, without any further waffle, we are on like five minutes already. So we're going to go new game. And we're going to play as Claire because we saw an awful lot of Leon. And uh, when I stream this tonight, depending on how I upload this video, when I stream this tonight, we'll be playing as Leon. <clears throat> For our Let's Play, we're going to play as Claire first. So, a different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastic... Her very, or drastically, her very ordinary life is about to change. So let's play Claire's story. We've got assisted for players who are unfamiliar with action games. Aim assist. Recover a certain amount of health automatically. Enemies are a little weaker. We go standard is the normal gameplay mode. Or hardcore. For hardcore fans of the series, saving requires an ink ribbon. No autosave, stronger enemies. So that's traditional Resident Evil. If I was, I, I already recorded the first video of this on the PC, and I, was, I did say, once we've been through it once, we're probably gonna have a go at hardcore because that sounds cool. But aiming with this fucking turd, I don't know. I'm very frustrated. But anyway, let's get into it. Raccoon City and industrial city in the heart of America and Claire Redfield's destination racing along on her okay I didn't want to read it anyway it's fine look man I'm serious okay I saw this with my own eyes oh I believe you buddy I believe you <laughs> just tell us a story tell us a story okay well it was last Friday night I was walking home from the bar and this woman started coming towards me she was staggering you know so I, I figured she was drunk <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy, calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong. Okay, don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to teeth in the middle. I saw that somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. That looks like a good burger. Well, don't take your eyes off the road, kids. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. That's good. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. I will, but I gotta go. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Here we go. Hello? And can I say how cool Claire looks? Very cool. Now, we're not in our awesome uh, outfit that we were on the PC, but there we go. One thing I can also mention, I didn't notice it so much on the demo, 
but the visuals are a good chunk lower on on the PlayStation. I did notice that straight away. But at the flip side, don't get mad because the game is actually playable. There we go. Swings and roundabouts. So, we actually start off at the gas station, which is interesting because in Resident Evil 2, um, you don't start off here, which is cool. Hello? Anybody here? Someone's got to be here, Claire, because we heard a window smash. Hello? Now, one thing to mention, although the visuals are a good chunk lower, they're still very good. Very, very good. You get some beers. Sounds like someone's having a bad time. Go there, fella. Are you okay? I would say he's pr Wait here. probably not okay, Claire. Probably not. Let's keep moving. Sounds like there's some commotion going on back here. What the hell's going on with the power in this place as well? Uh, buddy? Oh, he don't got it. He, uh, he don't got it. I think it's a bit late for that, Claire. And can I just say... How good do the zombies look? Like, oh, I've missed Resident Evil zombies. Right, let's go to work on this guy. Come on, you ugly shit stain. Oh, God. Accuracy is already suffering. Now, what's interesting as well... Claire starts off with this weird little five-shooter um, gun, whereas in the original RE2, uh, she finds the Browning HP um, in the glove box of, of the police car, which is interesting. Five-shot capacity, 9mm handgun. Its smaller capacity allows it for its small size, making it extremely easy to handle. I don't know whether it does more damage because you're limited on your ammo I'm not sure SL60 interesting interesting but you only have five rounds before you have to reload which no is not a lot uh, don't worry Claire he's uh, he's not actually alive when you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle select the item and then yeah the inventory actually is very nice I like it very reminiscent of RE2, uh, in a way. Right, we need to get a bit of a wiggle on here. It's certainly a fucking nightmare, all right, Claire? Oh dear! Alright, alright, that's fine. Hello, mysterious stranger. Don't shoot! Get down! Good stuff, Leon. Hmm. We gotta get out of here. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later when we're safe. Are we gonna get safe, Leon? Oh, the zombies! They look so good! Oh my god. Come on! Get in! I've said it before. Hold on. I think. The Resident Evil zombies are the best zombies ever. It's so good to see them finally remade. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good mm. thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Oh, we're just getting sparked. Just getting sparted? Just getting started, my dude. This is such a cool 
start to the game as well. But what's interesting, um, in the original, they meet in a diner. Very similar circumstances, but they've changed it to a, a gas station. And yeah, it works. It's really good. Really good. So far, my expectations for this game are through the roof. They really are. When they announced the full remake, I was kind of like, eh, 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 we'll see. But by all accounts, they delivered. I've um, skimmed through a lot of the reviews and whatnot, and every, this game's getting 10s and 9s out the ass. So, cool. Resident Evil 2. I need to get a snazzy thumbnail for my videos. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police mm -hmm. Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but... What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. God, Claire and Leon look so good. Looks like we're walking from here. Hmm. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, dear. Oh. Here comes the truck, man. Holy shit. Yeah, get out. Get out now! Jesus. Well, 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 well. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? I can't stay here. It's not safe. Yeah, put the pea shooter away, Claire. Now, what I like about that whole scene there is it's actually fairly different from the original. But at the same time, it's very, very faithful to the original. It, it's so good. Look at this, man. I just want to explore Raccoon City. Holy shit. Now, let's talk about that in a minute, actually. Right, let's get our asses out of here. It's of yeah, it's it's not the end of the world, Claire, but it, but it is like the end of the world. I'll, I'll agree with you there. Look how cool Raccoon City looks. Please do Resident Evil 3. Almost there. Then we can explore. Please do Resident Evil 3. Please, 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 please. And please do Resident Evil 1 as well like this. Yeah, I know we, did, you, we had the remake, which was cool. See you later, guys. Uh, 
And here we are, Raccoon City Police Station. Now, one thing I will mention is... I think... They cut a lot out of getting to the police station, I think. Now, I don't know if there's anything out here. I wish that we could have gone through a lot more of the back alleys. And where was the Kendo gun shop? I was... I, I, I can't say I wasn't disappointed about that, because I was. But... No matter. Let's get into the RPD. And here we are. The RPD. We're going to be calling this place home for a little while. Anybody here? I kind of think we're on our own, Claire. Alright, let's grab an F-A spray. I don't know if they're going to impact a rank. Or if we're even going to have a rank. I don't know. So we're not going to touch those. Unless we have to. This, of course, is our first run through. And look at like the item box. It's very similar to RE7, to be fair. But, like, the inventory and everything is just really, really, really good. Like, the inventory in RE7 um, was okay. 6 was shit. Utter fucking shit. Uh, same with 5. Resident Evil 4 inventory was lots of fun. You know, people people kind of moan about the fact that, yeah, you can grab this, carry this uh, massive, great big case of guns and ammo around with you and it's not very realistic. But, hey, guess what? It's a fucking video game. It's not meant to be realistic. But they've done a really good job of this. Now, the music, the ambience, if you listen, it's still there. But it's a lot more subtle than it was in uh, Resident Evil 2, the original. Which is interesting. Would have been nice to hear them dial it up. Now, again, in the actual, like, in the version I've got on my PC, you can swap it out for the original soundtrack and stuff like that. But of course we don't have that option here. And obviously, like, in this item box on the version I've got on the PC, there's actually three handguns in here. There's three Samurai Edge handguns, and they're all different. And oh, Maybe they're patched the PC version, and we, we get to play it. I don't know. I mean, I can play it fine. This is, well, kind of. It's just when I go to record it, it just goes to shit. This has been a very, very expensive Let's Play. Technically, cost nearly £100 to do this, but... It's okay. It's worth it. Because it's Resident Evil 2. Yeah, this corridor, for instance, on my PC goes down to like 17 frames a second sometimes. I don't know why. I'm not going through that way. It does feel good, to be fair, to play it on a PlayStation. Evening! Bring out your dead! Focus, Claire. Focus. Don't worry about it, Claire. It's alright. We got this. It's fine. You have no idea about your destiny. Oh, I wonder if they're going to redo Code Veronica as well, like this. <gasps> I hope so. I really hope so. Hmm. Okay, well, there's sweet FA in here. Let's keep moving. Do you like the cool little door animation that goes on there as well? Very nice. There we go. Looks like we'll clear that. Mm. Yeah, it's little bits like this. This looks extremely poor. On the PlayStation. It's on the PC is really pretty. But never mind. So we need some kind of bolt cutters, I'm guessing. Alright, pal. Open and we're coming. Yeah. 
I don't think it's going to be okay, Claire. Oof. Tell Marvin. Shit. Damn. Officer's notebook. We can read these now because we don't have a 30 minute time limit. So the goddess statue has something underneath it. Interesting. There's three plates that need to go in there by the look of things. And that will lead us down an elevator into the basement, up through the parking lot and way out. Alright. Cool. Return to the main hall. Come on, fuck boy. Make my day. Evening, officer. I'm sorry. Better you than me, my friend. I have to be fair. Like, the aiming, considering it is a controller, it is very tight. It's very good, but... Ooh. Ooh, you're getting back up. Piss off, pal. All right, let's get out of here, Clap. We're going to save as many bullets as we can. Ah, oh, god damn it. I think we're going to be saving too many bullets here. Ah, shit. What do you mean, what's up with her? She's dead. She's a zombie. Get the fuck out of her. I do not like Claire's handgun, I'm going to be honest. There we go. Come on, buddy. Right, grab the bullets. And the board. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, not good. Oh, hello. Evening. Get off me, sir. Please do not chew me. You can look, but you cannot touch, I'm afraid. Alright, let's go, Claire. Come on. Squeeze! Oh, they look... It looks so good. <laughs> nice. You all right? Hey, Marv. Yeah. You're safe. For now. <clears throat> Marvin Branagh. Thanks. Obviously, someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Come on. <clears throat> so nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, it's on me. Hey, hey keep that on. Just in case. I'm not going to be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. You're really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. Vacation? That's, that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> Yeah, we should probably get you to a hospital. Oh, 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 forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. So you can see your brother again. Now. You'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... And be careful. You see one of those things. No matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. Or you run. <laughs> Holy shit, like the facial animations are incredible. Like they were in 7, to be fair. 
Equip on the inventory screen to use this knife. This knife wears down with use and will break when its gauge is depleted. Yeah, interesting that they've done it that way. Like, I don't know. That is cool. I like it. Right, anyway, let what are we on? <gasps> We're on 30 minutes. That means I have to stop recording and, like... <sighs> Ooh, we actually did miss one place. I'm sure we're going to go back there later. We keep the boards. We need to reload. What you'll notice when Claire reloads the revolver as well, which is something I thought was fucking cool, she only removes, say like you've only fired two bullets, she only dumps out two spent um, brass, which is really nice little detail. But yes, I need to stop recording in a minute because we need to get the first first video of this up. Um, now... We have these dotted around. Yeah, fuck off. So, officer's notebook. So if we have a look at this, this is the lion statue. So we need a lion, a leaf, and an eagle, I'm guessing. That is the lion. Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. So hang on, so if we push those together... No, we can't bring them straight up. All right. So we want the lion, leaf, and the bird. And if we do that, we get one of our plates. That's oh, the lion medallion. All right, we'll have it. Cool, cool. Now the manual is, uh, or the notebook is, slightly different to uh, when we first uh, found it in the demo, I think. So let's pop that sucker in there. Hmm. So Elliot was Guess right. so. Oh. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. So that's Elliot's handbook. Interesting. Anyway, guys, it has been an arduous day to get this recorded, but, well, this up to this point anyway, but I am freaking loving this. So, I think there's like an autosave, but I don't know how it like works. Is it like autosave every room or what? I don't know. So, we're going to drop a save anyway. But, when we come back, guys, we're going to continue exploring the station and... Oh, there's so many rooms that we can now get into. There's so much we can do. We have no time limit. We have finally the full game. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.